Hey church, it's Wes here again for another Daily Hope. And uh, today I've been thinking about what do our prayers mean? And uh, what does it mean to pray? And when God asks us to interact with him through prayer, what does that even mean? Well, I think back to the story of Elijah in the Old Testament who um, went through that showdown with the false prophets of Baal and, and he was able to uh, call down uh, fire from heaven through his prayers. God loved to hear the prayers of his people and he loved to hear the prayers of Elijah. Even when you think about um, nine centuries on in the New Testament where James uses the same prayers and talks about how um, when he prayed and he asked God to stop the rain, that it stopped the rain for three and a half years, that when, then when he asked him to pray for rain, the rain happened. What happens when we pray? Does God answer our prayers? Does God hear us? Well, sometimes I wonder whether we uh, expect God to respond to us in a certain way, but we don't actually think that God could do what Paul says to the church in Ephesus, that, he could, that God wants to do exceedingly more than we could ask or imagine. I wonder sometimes whether we put a framework and, a, and, a, and a, a box around how we expect God to respond. And when God doesn't respond the way that we expect, then, well, obviously, God hasn't answered our prayers. My prayer is that in these days of uncertainty that you would find a hope that is found in a, in a faithful God who not just hears our prayers, but when he hears our prayers, he heals our land. And uh, I want to share with you those words from Second Chronicles 7 where it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear them from heaven and I will hear their land. God bless you, friends. I love your church and I'll see you soon. Bless you.